Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Garmin uh, 4Runner 235. As you can see, we've been charging uh, for probably about an hour or so, and um, now it's turned on by itself. And I've got the user manual here, and we're just going to focus on understanding the four buttons right now. Okay, so we got the top left button, which is over here that controls um, turning it on and off and it also turns the back light on and off okay according to the user manual so I'm gonna stop charging you okay and I'm just gonna practice that okay but right now um, so if I press the top left button okay it turns the back light on so it's a bit brighter and then backlight off. So that's, and then if you hold it down, I guess it'll just turn it on and off. So let's just hold it down and see what happens. Power off, yes. And this button right here is the uh, select button. So if you click this button, it'll choose an option. Okay, so if you click this, it'll turn it off. So let's just do that. Should be powering off. So it's now off. It's now off. Now all these buttons here, they, they won't do anything. So let's now hold this down again to turn it on. Okay, so now it's turning itself on. Oops, it, can, it vibrates a bit when it's turned on. As you can see, because we haven't set up the watch yet, it's asking us for some very basic information. So here, these two buttons here is the um, scrolling button. So you can scroll up and scroll down. Okay, so obviously we want English or is there a Chinese version? Let's see what languages it has. Polish. Um, no Chinese, unfortunately. So, sorry, uh, Mandarin speakers. So I'm going to choose English, press this button to select. Distance. I love this one. Uh, because we are in Australia, kilometers is the main one. Well, anywhere other than America, pretty much. Time format. Um... 24 hours, I guess, it's uh, clearer for everyone that's watching the video. Gender, male, birth year, oh, here it is, it's, you guys are now going to know how old I am. Weight, um, this is a bit embarrassing, but I'm actually right now about 96 kilograms. Height, 183, and now it's got the main menu, okay, so we're now at the run, um, so if you have a look, oh, let's turn the backlight on again, the top left hand side, you got this little signal, and that is the GPS status. So right now it has not locked onto a GPS, but if it's locked onto a GPS, then I'm guessing the light is not going to be, the signal is going to be a lot stronger. Right now it's just one little bar on the left, so there's no GPS because we are sitting at home inside. So I'm going to go outside and... Um, so basically, let's just go back to the main menu. So that's the time menu. If you keep pressing the back button, this is the back button. It'll go back to the main menu. And that's the time, which is 2.28. Um, and the date is Monday the 9th of... Monday the 9th of...
April obviously and if you press these buttons what are these buttons doing right now heart rate steps so yeah it's just scrolling through these three options how many what's your heart rate how many steps you've taken and then um, this button right here is the going for a run button okay so we just press that and then it's got run so let's go press up you can go to bike run indoor run and then if you press this again I'm guessing it's going to start timing okay so press that again okay and then if I press this again it's going to start the timer let's start timing stop the timing okay and then you can save it discard it so I'm going to discard it discard it discarding it okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recovery time zero hours obviously okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out I'm gonna finish charging my thing because you can see the battery is not fully charged I'm gonna finish charging it and then I'm gonna go outside go for a run and then this time I'm gonna save it and then I'll come back for the next video Alright, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.